Hello and thank you for joining us here in Barcelona at MWC 2025, where we discuss the latest innovations developed in Telenor's Open Lab since we met last year. Joining us today are Martin Whitlock, CTO of Telenor IoT. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Also with us is Malina Borgsig, Strategic Product Manager, 5G expert at Telenor Sweden. Thank you for being with us. And Rima Ayontel, Chief Architect for Global Telco at Red Hat. Thank you, all of you, for joining us today. All right, so Martin and Melina, to start with, tell us about how things have progressed from the Icora experimental 5G platform and into the new Telenor Open Lab initiative. So let me first uh, explain what Icora is. So Icora is an open cloud native multi vendor platform where we are innovative with research and partners and customers in an ecosystem. And uh, during this year, we have extended that into Stockholm, where we are building an edge AI site uh, integrated with our core network, which is really exciting. And before summer, we were even launching a, a BSS, like a marketplace where the customer is interacting out in an automated fashion using Red Hat uh, ACM uh, to perform that uh, through accessing this, this new platform. And what we're launching now is even bringing this the next step forward. So we are now extending it as a one platform where we are harmonizing all the different um, labs that we have in Norway and in Sweden and now with one new uh, site in, in Gothenburg where we will be even closer to the operation and the commercials where we can bring customers and truly innovate for, for me. Yeah. Martin, tell us about the new developments. Yeah, I think uh, one of the new developments is that Telenor IT, which is a separate company dealing with the international IT connectivity for large enterprises, uh, we have also joined. Uh, we're happy for that. And um, I think partly the uh, location of Gothenburg is also because we have a lot of customers in Gothenburg region. It's a big uh, science park there called Lindholm and Science Park, where automotive uh, players and, and other high-tech industries is situated. And I think the addition of this uh, open lab environment is great because we will be able not only for ourselves learn how to use this technology but also expose it straight to our customers where it counts uh, and uh, hopefully they identify together with them what will be the use cases that they really want to drive business development going forward so we're very enthusiastic about this exciting times indeed now Rima I'd like to hear your thoughts on this and uh, your perspective on Telenor's efforts, added efforts to find new 5GCN cases um, and adding not only UpCoast into the mix, but also the global IoT unit. Sure. First of all, love the name. Red Hat always enjoys hearing anything is open. And uh, we're glad to see that they're building these new capabilities because they're going to allow to monetize the network faster and provide new services for their customers. Then we love that we're able to help with that through our platforms. And we're expecting that uh, things like, you know, allowing different customers to share the same infrastructure will come up with those different services that you might not get if you only concentrate on one type of customer. So we are very excited to work with Eleanor on that. Fantastic. Now. Martin, Telenor has this new IoT test lab in Sweden and it's accessible to the full uh, Nordic Telenor group operators. And uh, you're also building out AI factory capabilities and internal AI efficiency. So how do you see all this coming together for Telenor connection? Yeah, it's, uh, I think, really like the idea of using test labs and I know our customers do as well. Um, I think to start off with, most of our customers, they deploy IT solutions globally, uh, or at least in many, many markets at the same time. And the cost of doing it wrong, sending out devices and it doesn't work properly when it's deployed in the field is, yeah, it can be really super expensive. So testing in advance is great, but, uh, and we have some really unique capabilities in that sense, I would say, in our test lab. So, but what we add now with this open lab uh, thanks to technologies that we see from Red Hat and, and others, uh, is the ability to also test the business potential of 5G standalone, I would say. Uh, because uh, I, I think it's fair to say the industry, we're, we're still early phase 
in deploying this technology. We're all exploring to what extent we can use the technology. But the lead time for some of the customers to get uh, access to commercial solutions could be quite long because first they need to integrate it in their products, they need to produce it, they need to ship it, they need to sell it, they need to activate. So we need to start now to explore this in order to build business uh, in the coming years. So um, I think it's good timing uh, and they're really excited about it. Rima, could you now tell us more about how Red Hat is supporting all of this and how your approach and your solutions help create uh, innovations and new services for IoT and Edge? Sure. So with our platform, Open Red Hat OpenShift, uh, we enable our customers and our partners to deploy cloud native workloads uh, that then turn into services for their end customers. We enable different types of hardware. Uh, for instance, you can put in GPUs in, uh, in your hardware and use it for IoT type of services. Uh, we allow multi-tenancy. We provide a very rich feature set built into our platform that can be used for very advanced type of um, services that you can deploy at the edge that require performance, low latency, etc. Plus, you can deploy a platform in different form factors. So at the edge, if you only need to put one node, you're able to do that. But if you need to deploy like a smaller cluster, we allow you to do that as well, or, you know, the whole data center. And it's all supported. And we provide that management layer that allows you to manage all of that uh, just seamlessly, right? And it allows you to give access to your own customers to do self-service, um, to give them faster time, you know, faster to innovate and uh, less effort. So that's, uh, that's where we uh, try to help. Melina, let's look forward now. What are your priorities for the Open Lab to help you, of course, you know, launch new products and, and new innovations and solutions to the market fast? Yeah. So first was about technology. So it takes time to get this in place. And I also think that's the reason why we are collaborating with research and innovation in this kind of setting. So what we are doing in Telenor Sweden right now is that we are securing the capacity and the coverage and the speed of the network. But it can be quite hard to understand what to use that for because the ecosystem, the phone and the apps that we are using, they are not really benefiting from that yet. So the next wave that we need to secure technically and roll out is about the advanced 5D services. And looking into the customer journey now having connection on board as well, which have global customers and Telenor is also a Nordic company. We have a big Nordic presence and also present in Asia. We need to support our customer in a way to make the customer journey seamless throughout those countries. And in order to do that, we need a partner that is multi-vendor. We need an automation and scale in the backbone because advanced fiber services is really about securing the network outside the world with mobility as it was a fixed network. Uh, and this is really huge and even make it open in a way for developers to interact and make configurations in the network. And in order to do that, I mean, with 4G, our customer, that was like humans using tools. And we are quite slow, so we, we can manage a bit of latency there. But the customer and the user for advanced fiber services is applications, is autonomous cars, it's drones, it's smartness. And now with AI, where we need to gather more data in order to predict more with AI and use more AI in the world, we need a central place to collect all that data so use cases or devices can gather that kind of insights and that needs to go really fast so with all this together with the network infrastructure with the cloud edge infrastructure with the public cloud environment with the you know multi-vendor setting from a global perspective we need someone who can tie this together create automation and, and scale well, there's so much to look forward to. I'm very much looking forward to catching up with you in a year's time to see how much progress you've made. You're off to a great start here. Many thanks to all of you. Thank you. Thank you.